Hello, today we're taking a look at The Curious Expedition. This is a, um, a roguelike adventure game that just came out, well, is in, shut up. Three, two, one, mark. Hello, today we're taking a look at The Curious Expedition. This is an early access roguelike adventure game that just recently got onto Steam. So we're going to get right into it. We are an adventurer. We are an adventurer and our ultimate goal is to go out and find an amazing um, golden pyramid that will bring us a ton of fame. So we have some real world famous people that we can choose from. Richard Francis Burton, Mary Curie, who's this guy, Charles Darwin, or Nikola Tesla. Ha! <laughs> ha! And of course, who else will we go with but Nikola Tesla? Nikola Tesla is amazing. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. I don't know who you are. All I've done is played the tutorial so far, so I do not know who this man is. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Elyster Crowley, Amelia Earhart, Charles Darwin, and Richard Francis Burton. Psh. Psh. Low lives. We got this. Now go explore. Adventure awaits. I see. We're going to go to Tikitaka Grasslands. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. Start the expedition. The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I stored my equipment on the ship. The captain had yet to arrive, so I sat on the pier and waited. A young man approached me with a request. He needed to have a message delivered to the chief of a village located in the region we were headed to. How interesting, kicking off before we've even gotten on our adventure. This young man wants us to deliver letters to chieftains. I can do nothing but accept this amazing offer, because no doubt it will be very useful. He handed us a letter which I promised to deliver. At last, the vessel was ready to head for distant shores. Set sail. Day one. It might be best to deliver the letter first. Conveniently, the man had marked the location of the village on our map. Continued. So... Basically, the game runs that we are this little group of people in this big area that is a big map filled with hexagons. There are different types. There are mountains, forests, plains, and our goal is to find the Golden Pyramid. Um, our limitations, we have sanity, which reduces as we move, and we have our standing with the villagers, which can cause them to become hostile, or to help us along. And we have a compass that, as we move forward and explore more of the region, it's going to start to point towards the Golden Pyramid. Right now it's unreliable. This is the meter. I think one of these is the meter that notes when this is actually pointing towards the Golden Pyramid. We also have an inventory full of items that can do a variety of things, like dynamite can destroy mountains. You got some sort of fireworks. Can be used to draw attention away from you during your next leg in order to move undetected through dangerous zones. Interesting. Whiskey, that increases our sanity. A Tesla gun, usable in combat. A shovel can be used to dig up things. Interesting. And a letter. So, our first goal is to head to this native village over here. So let's get to it. Enter the village. Day 5. Today, 
We reach the village, the village of a warrior tribe. The villagers observe us with curiosity. They were polite and offered to help our cause. Let's deliver the letter. We brought the letter to the village chief. To reward us, he told us the best sights to see in the region, including a holy shrine <coughs> that we're going to desecrate. I'm sorry. What? Which he marked on our map. We very, we felt very comfortable in the midst of the overjoyed villagers. Trade? What could you possibly have to trade with us, I wonder? Haggle. We've got red mushroom. Drums. Spear. And torches. I don't think we need any of these things. We're not going to haggle, and I don't think we want to recruit. We've done our job here at the village. Very good. We packed up the trek and departed. As new adventurers could be waiting around the next corner. We can also, by the way, sleep in villages. And potentially... And that would gain us some sanity. So, in addition to everything that I've already said, which is a ton of stuff... What is this? We have um, our group of people that are following us. This is us, Nikola Tesla. I don't know what half of these skills are, this dice. The toughness is no doubt health, and then carrying capacity. We've got Farashavabadha, a very difficult to pronounce name. A wandering merchant of the Orient. Mmm, very nice. He has haggle. Very nice. And we've got Vinvien Rossu, a cook who delights in making meals from unusual ingredients. Very nice, but he's a bit racist. That's bad because bad, bad, and uh, Rossu are not going to get along very well. That's quite unfortunate. And we have Mr. Spencer. Hello, Mr. Spencer, a donkey carrying our stuff. How brilliant. <laughs> I love it. So, we're going to head down to this holy shrine to start, because, of course, we found our... We talked to the villagers. They said, you know what, it would be really cool if you, like, checked out our holy shrine. That would be amazing. You should go see it. And I was like, totally, I'm going to go desecrate it. And I wasn't joking when I said that I was going to go desecrate it. I'm going to go destroy it entirely. Region analyzed? No. Oh. Tesla's giant dragonfly. What does that even mean? Okay, no, we don't want to travel. Let's examine this shrine. Day 22 of our voyage. We stood before a temple comprised of stones the size of small wagons. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Low-hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. The structure sh sewed... The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed safe to explore. Well, guys, you know what we're going to do? Right into the ancient temple. Oh, look at Tesla. He's just getting right up there. My, this is pretty impressive. It is, isn't it? It's very impressive indeed. Very large heads. We have found a sacred altar room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writing. Examine it, Tesla. I'm sure you can read it. <laughs> what do we have here? Golden statue. Was potentially used as a for fertility symbol. Well, you know who needs fertility. Mr. Spencer needs fertility. <laughs> We've taken it. I would not leave empty-handed. We took... The artifact from the altar. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shake wildly. We hurried outside as the shrine was swallowed by the earth and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Yeah. Worst things have happened. I'll level. We're going a bit insane, so we should probably chug just a bit of whiskey. Our, our cook friend is just so drunk right now. He's losing it. Let's go. Oh. Uh-oh. There's a tiger. There's a tiger coming after us. I don't exactly want to aggro that thing. So we're just going to try to walk this way and pretend it wasn't there. Where's this? Region C. 
So we can go over this shallow river and get into this area. Let's go see what's over here. There's a tiger, of course, which is going to try to eat us, which isn't, isn't amazing. I prefer to not be eaten by tigers. I don't know about you. What is this? Oh, we can promote. So I think promotions work that we get one every now and again. I don't know exactly what the thing is that causes it. And then we can get skills. So Badab has the haggle ability. Rossiu has culinary finesse, which would increase the sanity we get from eating food, which I think is amazing. So Rossiu, welcome to level two, my friend. Won't that be amazing? Oh, our sanity is quite low. Let's go see what we can do about investigating this interesting waterfall over here. Ferrazesha's fire luminescent butterfly. Oh, we're learning all about new species. It's amazing. Let's go this way. And what do we have? We are so low on sanity, it's amazing. I've failed us, friends. It's so bad. Let's, let's attack a tiger. I don't even know. Combat. Round one. Three rolls left. What does this all even mean? Well, we died. That was strange. Um, yeah. Those die didn't make any sense at all, quite frankly, and I didn't know what I was doing. That's really bad. The tutorial did not explain combat at all. So let's get back in there, and let's try to not die this time. Who's this? Frederick Courtney Salus. Richard Francis Burton. Mr. Richard Francis Burton. I don't care about you. I want to go adventure. Shut your mouth. What is this? The rich grasslands. Let's start our expedition. This time, we're not going to get attacked by a tiger and killed. Because I don't have even the slightest clue how the battle thing works. That, that didn't make any sense to me at all. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I board the, boarded the ship. The captain had yet to arrive, so I sat on the pier and waited. A missionary approached me this morning. He had decided to leave England and demanded that we take him to a nearby native village in order to spread the word of God. Uh, uh, mm, yeah, sure, why not? You get on. You're going to pay me when we get to the end, right? That's going to be a thing. Very good. I mean, I'm not a fan. They're probably going to hate me for doing this, quite frankly. But we're going to see what goes down. Where is the first village? Because the first village is always marked on the map, apparently. So the game says, and I trust the game. Let's enter the village. Today we reached the village. Its inhabitants were proud of their martial powers and were well armed. The natives observed, observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered to help our cause. I recognized the language of these people and soon was able to communicate. Let's deliver the, mis the missionary. We accomplished the missionary. Oh, he gave us a map of the Holy Shrine again. How nice. Anything interesting to trade? What the heck is this thing? A horn flute? We have no need of a horn flute. We may be in of need of a spear. Because, quite frankly, oh, you're going to ask a lot for those spears, aren't you? We will be in need of a spear. Because last time we got killed by a tiger. And I'm hoping a spear will help us in this situation. We packed up and headed out. Gotez stayed behind for some time, as she had some business to attend to with the villagers. However, she caught up with the trek not long after we had left. Who is Gotez? 
our native scout friend. And then Richard Francis Burton, of course, the amazing adventurer. And Sergeant Janals Francis. Every trek needs at least one person in the front line, and this is your man. He finds great satisfaction in combat. Very good. And you... You have geography, additional information about the region, and increased viewing distance. And Mr. Francis Burton, polygot, allows one to rest in native villages and improves communication with indigenous people. Perfect. So good. Okay. Let's head out to this shrine, which will... You know how we work here. We will immediately desecrate the shrine. Because I, quite frankly, can accept nothing but complete desecration of any amazing religious or cultural artifact that happens to be hanging around here. It's a very interesting shrine. We shall enter it. We found the sacred altar. Let's investigate it. Ooh, look at that. A golden skull. You wonder if this is a good idea, Mr. Gotez. Of course it's a good idea. We're taking it all and we're running for our lives. What a glorious day. We took the artifact from the altar. Suddenly a large noise came from the altar. We all ran outside, holding our heads in pain as the shrine collapsed. Sergeant Johannes Francis started behaving strangely. Oh, what do we have here? Lepidopterophobia. Scared of butterflies and moths? He's suddenly... You little wuss, Francis, you wuss. Come on now. You can't be afraid of butterflies and moths. They're not going to hurt you. Come on, man. Jeez. What do we have here? Some sort of monolith and apparently a jaguar. I don't enjoy jaguars. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't like jaguars. We arrive at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. Let's rest overnight. What's the worst that could happen? We settled down, allowing everyone to rest. While huddled around the fire, we heard something groan from a nearby tree. Well, he's got a gun, doesn't he? I hope he has a gun. At least as a spear. Let's go investigate. A young native with glassy eyes and an infected wound lays shaking behind the tree. Use a first aid kit. Use healing mushrooms. We don't have any of it. Nothing at all. We're going to do nothing and let you die. We should probably put him out of his misery, quite frankly. Without the use of medical supplies, there was nothing we could do. The shaking soon stopped. Well, that's good at least. Now he's not shaking. He's just dead. That's it. He's just dead. And that's fine. Dead is better than suffering on the ground below a tree. Which I imagine is what he was doing. Two days resting, three days resting, four days. That jaguar is just chilling out over there. We were lucky not to have been crushed by stone overnight. I wasn't aware that it was that dangerous under that arc. You really need to mention when it's that dangerous below the Ark that we can't really risk sleeping there? I mean, seriously? Oh. Richard's tender butterfly? Lots of butterflies and moths. Wow. So, Sergeant Joannis Francis has to just be freaking out because there are so many butterflies and moths around here. But... Lo and behold, what do we have here but a golden pyramid? They thought they could keep us from the riches. Never! The golden pyramid is ours. There was the gold, golden pyramid, enthroned above the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. Enter the pyramid. After weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would be forever remembered. Finish the expedition. What an amazing expedition. We went to a native village. We desecrated a shrine. We slept on an overhanging rock. And we managed to find the Golden Pyramid. Our fame is now 99, which I assume is okay. Got to be great, right? Right? 
99 is a large amount. Oh, look at the crowd. Triumph. Eat it. What do we got? Geography. Gives additional information about your region. Climber. Reduces move costs when crossing hills. Butterfly enthusiast. Gain sanity each time a butterfly is collected. Definitely this one. So, we don't just have to do one map in order to win. We have to do three maps. Wow. So, apparently we actually did really terribly. <laughs> Everyone else got like 160 fame. We don't have anything. Look at that. We just got a golden skull. This is a museum. Fame plus 60. Auction funds plus 40. Let's gift that to the museum. Push us up in the rankings. Look at that. Now we're up with you people. Look at you, Tesla. You're only four fame above me. Who do you think you are? Continue. My next destination? The magnificent grasslands or the opulent grasslands? A well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands? Or a well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands? Huh. They appear to be the same thing. Well, regardless, we've been to South America and we should head to North America. I don't think the natives will be happy with what we've done. After getting up very early, I arrived at the docks. The crew had preparation left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. A gentleman approached me while I twiddled my thumbs. He challenged me to complete the expedition within 80 days and offered a reward on completion. A Parsi traveler offered to join our trader, offered to join our expedition. Get in here, trader. You're going to be amazing. We could use another helping hand and welcome the trader in our trek. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the ship was prepared to leave the harbor. What kind of equipment can we grab? Let's see, we've got campsite, enables one to rest and create comfort, colored marbles, first aid kit, climbing gear, climbing gear, makes passing through elevated terrain much easier. Interesting. How about, what are we looking for? Oh, the campsite is a lot of money. Let's get some chocolate rations. As many chocolate rations as we can get. We need all the sanity we can out here, because there are terrible things coming for us, panthers and tigers and whatnot, and I'd prefer not to be killed by any of them. Let's see. So we got a couple question marks out here, and we've got a promotion. Who, who by the way, is this new guy? This guy right here? He's superstitious, suffers from an irrational fear of what is unknown to him, and he can barter. You have increased view distance. And you... Oh, I guess I accidentally leveled up Johannes Francis. Anyway, gain sanity from combat. That's not very good. We don't really know how to do that. We can't fight things because we're dumb and don't know how to fight things. It's a small issue. What do we got here? What is this? That is a derpy face. That is such a derpy face. That must have been worshipped by some culture... So much, so much worship. I came across a fascinating overgrown rock statue. Its cold eyes seemed to stare at us. It was a dis disconcerting sight, and we desired to move on. We noticed some items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region. They were sacrificial offerings, it seemed. What does it happen to be? What do we have? Some mangoes. Hmm, mangoes. And some horn flutes. Able to distract wildlife? Take them. <laughs> no sacrificial offerings for you. Suck it, natives. You're done. <laughs> You're not going to be able to give anything to anyone. Ooh, a hut. No, this is dangerous. We enter a mysterious looking hut. Very mysterious. Very swampy. Many terrible skulls on the outside, too. Perhaps we shouldn't be here. But we're going to be here regardless. The place smelled of old wet wood and all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. The native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. 
Probably shouldn't be chewing those leaves. Those might be not the best. Ask for cleansing. The shaman was willing to offer his services, but demanded payment up front. What sort of, what sort of cleansing are you talking about? Tome page of teleportation. Oh, tome page of abomination. Cocoa leaves. What would you take for a horn flute? Two horn flutes. The shaman, the shaman quickly grabbed the offered goods and then asked who we should treat. Mr. Johannes Francis. Oh, this will get rid of his fear of butterflies, won't it? For a short while, he calmed down and we helped Johannes Francis get to his feet. How nice. So we have a small amount of wares that we saw last time. What in the world can we do? Ooh. Haggle will give us a little extra stuff. Maybe we can get some red mushrooms? Those are very expensive. We don't have anything... Well, I will not deal with you, shaman. I cannot trust you. I'm so glad I did not get hurt. Shut up, Francis. You're supposed to be our warrior. Not the wuss of the group. Come now. As I was saying, we need not any of the wares of a ridiculous shaman. We are a civilized nation, and of course we know so much better than any uncivilized brute that happens to be wandering around here. Even though they've lived here for so long, and obviously pretty much know what they're doing, we are so much more intelligent than they are, quite obviously. Mm. We are running low on um, sanity, though. Let's, let's do a little chocolate eating right now. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Delicious chocolate. We're still going to need more. We want to get over to here. There's something over here. What in the world is it? Healing springs? That sounds amazing. I want healing springs. Why won't you let me go to healing springs? Why do you want to kill me, game? I understand that that's what you're seeking to do. Let's go. What could possibly be over here? Some butterflies. More butterflies. Well, that's, that one's moth, but... Technicalities. They're the same thing, right? No? Okay, not at all. Explore the springs. Our trek stopped at a place of outstanding natural beauty. The water tasted salty and very likely from geothermal groundwater. Ah, oh, we can rest overnight. How nice. We settled down, allowing everyone to rest. Shabana ba 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 His mental condition had won the upper hand. He suffered from nightmares that caused him to scream and shout throughout the night. We can't separate from him. We just have to ignore him. I tried to ignore the incessant screaming, but the night gave none of us a chance to recover from our trek. Gotez was not impressed with my decision and seemed to resent the lack of sleep I caused her. Uh, we kind of... Just so long as we're actually going to fill up on sanity, that's fine. Mist lay heavy on the land as we woke the next morning. Well, that's not terrible. We might need to rest again. But we're going to go over here instead, because shut up. <laughs> shut up. You, you think I'm going to do something logical? No, I'm going to go examine something and desecrate it. What do we have here? Another dirt face. Well, the natives appear to love the derp faces around here. What sort of amazing loot do we have? Mangoes. All about mangoes. And torches. Come in handy whenever you need to bring light in dark places. Or just to set things on fire. Ah, I love setting things on fire. Very good. Gotez was physically shaken by the encounter with the mysterious statue. But you have... Angry? Oh, no. He's in a volatile state of mind. How unfortunate for you. We're gonna have to go back and rest at the healing spring again. <coughs> Ow, slightly scratchy throat. It's okay. We'll survive. We're not out here. But I think this will bring us to the end of the episode. Uh, the curious... I can't even remember what it's called right now, but...
Curious Adventure or something along those lines. Very fun game. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Admittedly, combat doesn't make any sense. It was not explained in the tutorial, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused. But regardless, it has been quite fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.